Hey guys, uh, welcome to yet another ICO review video on uh, the Crypto Gurus. Uh, today we are going to uh, do a review of AMLT, uh, which is uh, also known as a compliance token established by CoinFirm. Uh, so the objective of the token is to create an AMLT network which uh, will build global standard for enabling transparency for cryptocurrency and blockchain based transactions. So the simple objective is to make sure that uh, all the transactions which are uh, happening are accounted for and uh, the users who are going to you do these transactions uh, are doing it for legitimate purposes and uh, they are doing it with trust and uh, they are doing it you, you using cryptocurrency for the right purposes so this will also help uh, in uh, ensuring that uh, all this all the users who are uh, interacting or uh, doing transactions on the uh, blockchain ecosystem are trustworthy and are not into any malpractices. So every business participating in the MLT will help expose money from illegal sources, uh, protect the ecosystem from the risk connected with it and can provide their information to network to rate others. So otherwise this illegal sources uh, could be used to do a lot of things which are antisocial like terror funding or uh, drug trafficking human trafficking so to in order to ensure that blockchain ecosystem is uh, not using the illegal source of money uh, to facilitate uh, such malpractices or uh, social stigmas uh, amlt is making an attempt to create a token which is called as a compliance token and uh, let's see how it is trying to do it and uh, what are what kind of a solution is it uh, providing and what is the problem that it is solving. So how does CoinFirm or AMLT work? So CoinFirm AMLT serves as a foundation for the safe adoption and use of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. Uh, so it is aimed at uh, making the adoption safe. Uh, the algorithms used uh, and the data analysis used to provide actionable data uh, that increases efficiency, reduces cost and streamlines this uh, streamlines compliances to near automation so a lot of automation happening with uh, the help of big data analysis and the use of algorithms uh, like machine learning NLP etc uh, to make sure that the processes are seamless uh, they are automated and they are quick so the entire blockchain and cryptocurrency ecosystem is spread into the traditional economy and enables mass market adoption so since the system becomes more reliable and quick uh, it is going to help uh, in mass adoption and it serves as a bridge to accommodating new business models so you uh, are looking at uh, new business models joining the blockchain community uh, but they have no clarity on how to do it a platform like or a coin like AMLT will help them go through the checks and balances uh, will go through uh, will help them go through uh, establishing the whole system for the for being a participant in the blockchain ecosystem now this if successful is going to be creation of a global standard for the whole industry so this is something where the whole industry might be looking forward to and uh, this might be revolutionary in the sense that uh, it could uh, create wonders for the industry it could uh, reduce the flag that it has received for uh, being a platform which runs in the dark uh, so looking at the incidents from the dark web in the recent past and uh, even a possibility that terror funding could be easily facilitated with the help of blockchain uh, with the creation of this global block st global standard all this could go and uh, mass adoption of uh, blockchain ecosystem could be could be very easily possible in the very near future so now uh, what aml token is so the aml is a token for prepaid products and access rights to the already vibrant network of confined firm aml on ttf platform so there is a coin firm aml or cta platform which already exists and amlt is another token which is used for prepaid products and access rights to the already vibrant network right now the network members uh, are going to receive amlt to provide ratings and information on specific addresses so whenever they are transacting with an address and they get to know more about the address in terms of what kind of business the address is into and uh, how he might be utilizing his fund based on that they are going to give a feedback and this is the fuel that makes the system democratic as opposed to arbitrary which means that there is a trust factor involved so uh, there is rating of addresses okay and with the help of rating addresses it is possible to identify uh, who is being compliant in the system and who is being not 
so it's yeah so it easy obviously allows compliance and transparency in all transactions uh, situations helping the whole ecosystem be safer and connected with global economy so since there is a safety feature uh, which is the trust factor or you know it could be a positive or a negative trust factor a simple flag which will be tagged to each address uh, the trust factor is going to make people believe in addresses instead of the whole system so when a new entrant ent ent enters the system he will have an idea as to which address to transact with and which address to ignore which is a very uh, big savior uh, for somebody who is unaware of the consequences of interacting with a non trustworthy address right and so a very useful feature so amlt builds a secure and democratic network that provides transparency to the cryptocurrency world so obviously this is all transparent and visible to everyone as to which address is leg legitimate and which is not so trustworthy so this helps them to comply with a number of regulatory requirements and again it makes things suitable for them to uh, go for wide adoption so the goal of amlt is to build an open global standard for the transparency of cryptocurrency so this is the ultimate goal that uh, once they have established the whole system this could be considered as a global standard so once this is a global standard uh, it will be possible for individuals to or individual countries or uh, you know so other upcoming companies in the same space to adopt uh, the features used by them and therefore there will be further enhancements which are going to be beyond this so this is a very good this will be a very good benchmark plus this is going to be trustworthy because it is coming from the likes of coin firm which has already got an established platform so the challenges uh, facing the cryptocurrency industry is that uh, the op so now close to a uh, uh, 700 800 billion usd market uh, that the access of traditional banking and struggles with regulatory compliance so a lot of countries do not uh, or a lot of individuals are not willing to use it because of the uh, non-engagement of the blockchain ecosystem with the rest of the world right this is obvious and this is very uh, easily visible also this is an ongoing topic and has been under discussion for a long time now so uh, now, due to the rising visibility and capitalization of cryptocurrency market, almost every major organization is now imposing AM, AML or KYC requirements of cryptocurrency business. Now, token sales or ICO as well as financial engineering providing services to such businesses. So, with the KYC processes becoming very difficult for even the token sale or the ICO options, uh, it, it really is difficult for them to, you know, utilize uh, blockchain ecosystem and uh, avail its benefits without complying with KYC, KYC which becomes a very hectic and a very long process which uh, kind of acts as a deterrent to uh, enabling things quickly with the blockchain system. Now in order to and also uh, if, if you were to include in compliance with the existing system the cost is very high. So uh, in the traditional sector especially uh, Similarly, the cost burden for cryptocurrency business as they mainly rely on the same type of tools and methods as the traditional sector, right? Now, the coin from AML CTF platform delivers a new level of effectiveness as well as efficiency that turns compliance process into an automated practical utility. So, this is a good uh, idea to convert everything into an automatic process so as to ignore manual intervention uh, or, uh, you know, go through a number of forms, going through a series of KYC, processes etc if it becomes an automated utility uh, this could really be helpful so yeah so the the solution that uh, they're trying to provide is that they're going to provide streamlined access to reports and risk course or aml or ctf compliance processes they're going to build a democratized transparency standard using data collected by the platform to analyze aml ctf risks and provide the necessary data for compliance with various regulatory requirements so this is a very important point and uh, this is the uh, gist of what they are trying to do. They are going to create a democratized transparency standard with the help of the data that they collect over a period of time. And they are going to assess the risk of AML CDF and provide the necessary data for compliance with various regulatory requirements. So that data is going to use for, um, you know, enabling uh, uh, regulatory requirements individually. So this is going to improve and automate the process uh, for all the active participants who are there 
and is going to enable network members to play a fundamental role in the development of the new standard for cryptocurrencies rather than make it an arbitrary so from an arbitrary system where you interact with each address and you don't really know the trust factor associated to it uh, you have a trust factor now you have a global standard in the form of coin form amlt platform which is going to rate users which is going to understand the credit uh, credibility which is going to analyze the data and uh, you know come up with big data analysis and machine learning tools to define the credibility of individual users and make it transparent to every other being so that now now this this is going to make sure of two things one is that it is going to enforce that people are trustworthy because they know that their trust tags are going to go low if uh, they do not behave in a certain way uh, and second is uh, it will encourage people to enter such a system because of the uh, safety factor that they see that they will be easily able to identify the non-trustworthy members also and the highly trustworthy ones. Now I am looking at the uh, token distribution timeline so it has started on the 7th of November and uh, lined up till 28th February including the KYC process and all but uh, the last day to submit the KYC form is 31st and the public sale ends on 30th of January so one AMLT is uh, 0.0003 Ethereum and uh, so you can go to the website link shown in the figure and uh, shown in the uh, video or uh, we we'll, we are also going to mention it in the description you can go to that uh, link and explore more about the ICO you can go and buy the token from there also so the token sell price uh, so far is they've raised close to 13,000 ethereum which is quite a good number uh, but by their standard they might want to reach the total target and uh, they are already in a phase where they should be able to reach it so the token sale ends in another seven days and this is just the tier one will get completed i'm very hopeful because at the rate that they have gone they should be able to finish it off in another three four days itself so i think yes uh, a very interesting ico uh, especially if you were to look at the challenges that it is solving uh, and how it is solving it the kind of solution that it is providing uh, i am invested in this ico already so but there is no bias in my opinion i am very strongly positive about the uh, ico and that is the reason why uh, i took upon the opportunity to create a video and spread uh, this amongst uh, our viewers uh, but the disclaimer says that uh, my opinion is not sacrosanct uh, i am not a financial advisor and my opinion is solely based on, on my analysis so please take care of uh, your own investment with your own due diligence please make sure that you do all the checks and balances that you feel are required before investing in an ico uh, so go ahead do it invest it and if you like the ico please like the video thanks